Hi, this video is for the Animal Artists Collective, a group that creates artwork every other month to promote positive messages for animal welfare and conservation efforts. Each round, you can participate in a poll on Facebook where anyone can vote on which type of animal is chosen next. Due to an even tie on the last poll, unofficial participants were able to choose between ungulates or carnivores, while the official group decided to do ungulates last round and postpone carnivores to this round. So you may notice that I did the Florida Panther painting for the last round and have decided to do another big cat painting this round. In the future, the theme will be more varied, but I'm really excited about this one. I was invited to be a guest artist this round, and when asked which of the over 280 species of mammals in the order Carnivora I'd like to paint, I chose the Iberian lynx. I couldn't help it, I love cats, and the lynx is a beautiful animal with a great story I'd like to share with you. These cats were on the brink of extinction before a small group of people took the time to study their numbers, the causes of their decline, and create a conservation plan. The Iberian lynx lived in the Iberian Peninsula, which includes the countries Spain and Portugal, but in the past they were also found in southern France. Their population was in decline until 2002, when a census showed only two tiny isolated groups remaining in southern Spain, together totaling under 100 adults, with only 25 of them being female. The Spanish government combined their efforts with nonprofit organizations like the EU Life Project and the World Wildlife Fund. After a persuasive campaign, the WWF convinced the Spanish authorities to address problems such as vehicle accidents, illegal hunting, and habitat loss. While those issues can be helped with preventative measures and legal actions, a really big issue is harder to solve and that would be food source. They almost entirely sustain themselves on a diet of rabbits. Unfortunately, rabbits are considered vermin, and as a pest hated by farmers for destroying crops, they have been hunted, trapped, and intentionally diseased to control their population. It's sad because a lot of small animals are punished for needing the same foods that humans eat. We don't often think about the side effects to other animals. In my city, we've had a major decline in owl population due to people poisoning rats, which the owls then eat. Similarly, in Spain, farmers may not have thought that by hurting the rabbits, the lynx would die out. Because lynx females with babies need up to three rabbits a day, and the rabbits are hard to find, she must travel further causing more issues with roads and vehicle accidents. So organizations have started building bunny burrows, giving them safe homes to help repair the rabbit population. This also benefits other carnivores like the red fox, Egyptian mongoose, and the smaller European wildcat. At this time, the Iberian lynx population has grown to over 400, but only with our help. Because the WWF has been working for the conservation of these animals for over a decade, they support the captive breeding program and watch for threats to the wetland area that is a major sanctuary to millions of migratory birds and endangered species, including the lynx and the imperial eagle. I'll be donating half the sale price of this painting to their organization. I hope to hear more positive news about the ongoing land and animal conservation in the future. It would be nice to know that more governments are cooperating with organizations focused on wilderness preservation. I'd also love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below.